the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I'm walking in power walking in miracles i expect favor every day every day honestly i really do i expect favor please sit down we have to rush so you must trust god for grace write two scriptures down you can read them when you get home very quickly genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 7 the key verse is verse 5 genesis chapter 11 11 i meant to say genesis 11. just write it and then you go and study at home but this was the story of nimrod kush building that tower whose top will reach the heavens the Bible says, verse 4, since you've projected it, let's just look at 4 and 5 quickly. The Bible says, Nimrod, he began to market this idea. It started with an idea. Let us build a city whose top may reach the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered on earth. Look what happened in the realm of the spirit. Verse 5, while Nimrod was busy working on their minds, the Bible says, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men have finished building once their mindset received it god saw a building rising in the spirit and he came to say what is happening? they've not started building on the ground but their mindset was receiving it everything in life is built twice it is first built in your mind then it is built physically whatever is built physically and not built in your mind you will lose it but destroy anything physical if it's built in your mind the law says it must be rebuilt It's why wealthy people may go down they may have a season of some catastrophic events financially and otherwise and you see them smiling you are even crying for them and yet they are smiling they who are the victims because they know that they not only sustain the ability to be fruitful they have the ability to replenish you will only fear your results when you do not know the laws that produce it watch this I will always like to use people who cook. Imagine with me for a moment that you were to go and serve guests and while you were preparing the meal, something happened. And then everything just poured completely on the floor. And then they give you two more hours or three more hours. You will not be afraid again because you can still go back to the kitchen. Once the ingredients are there and you are the one who truly cooked, it's trouble if you just bought it somewhere. And the place is closed then you are in trouble but if you were the one who prepared it you can go back with confidence and even use the anger to make a better version of that thing and say what i forgot to add yesterday as i'm coming back now i'm adding it there law number three are you getting blessed the third mystery in this kingdom that has been responsible for the uncommon extraordinary results of the saints is called the law of mastery and competence the law of mastery the law of competence write it down please Proverbs 18 and verse 16.
a man's gift maketh room for him and the bible leaves an assurance that the gift like an usher can bring him before great men a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men listen to me it is powerful to be valuable you know what it means to be valuable to be valuable means that you sustain the ability to provide solutions that are needed and useful as far as the context of a civilization is concerned listen carefully not just the ability to provide solutions the solutions must be needed and they must be useful with respect to that civilization you are considered valuable to the degree to which your life and your skills provide solutions as a man of god i'm providing a solution the solution may be spiritual in context but it is still a solution number one i'm connecting you to faith number two i'm using the agency of the word of god as a reference to transform your thinking your thinking now being transformed will change your life i'm standing in partnership with the holy spirit to provide supernatural solutions healings miracles signs and wonders that is value many believers are just waiting for some magic to happen as far as their relevance is concerned let me tell you this men will only come to your light not to you if you are not carrying anything of value nobody will look for you gentiles don't come to you they come to your light let me tell you why you are alone you are alone because there is nothing notable coming out of you that is commanding the attention of men value is powerful You must have something to offer listen the table of greatness was so designed that you don't just go there and shift a chair and sit down the condition to join the great to sit on that table is that you first provide your value then that value is vetted there is a threshold level of competence you must attain in order to be granted a seat with the great being valuable as powerful as it is is not enough the highest position in every organization is for masters competence is a promoter it can lift you beyond your background it can lift you beyond your limitations it's a kind of music called music of the masters many of you have listened to it those guys have mastered the art of not failing when they sit down and they are playing they have come to a point where they are one with what they are doing they are not hoping they are right oh you must trust god to be a master at something nobody will come and indefinitely be loyal to you for nothing no when you study leadership there is a dimension of leadership that comes by results people want to see results they love you but they love themselves too they want to see genuine, replicable, consistent results. If you're a man of God, you must make up your mind that I will be competent. I will be competent in ministry, word delivery, excellent, prayer life, excellent, ethics of ministry, administration and managerial intelligence, excellent. Refuse to be small. Value is powerful. When I learned this, I began to rejoice. I found my way out of mediocrity. I found my way out of jealousy. I found my way out of competition. Mastery lifts you to such a pedestal in life. You are so distinguished, it will look like life is flattering you, but it's true. Let me tell you this. I learned this, and for the purpose of this, discussion tonight I want you to write it down that the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system and there is an auxiliary law that is tied to the law of competence the law of value the law of mastery I want to quote it for you 
so that you have it down and i pray that it will contribute to your lifting and your rising are you ready that the rewards that we have in life the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things number one the need or the demand for what you do your rewards our rewards in life is directly proportional to number one the need or the demand for what we do number two our ability or proficiency to do what we do this is where skill and excellence comes in your ability to do what you do and then number three the difficulty in replacing you i come again our rewards in life financial honor whatever kind of reward whether financial or psychic whatever kind of reward will always be in exact ratio in exact proportion to number one the demand or the need for what you do number two your ability to do what you do number three the difficulty in replacing you when there are easy replacements for you you will never go far in life this is not from a competitive standpoint but you must make up your mind to be exceptional it is true that no man is indispensable but make it difficult to find an alternative to you and the company will retain you begging i assure you as much as they are downsizing people in this nation there are people who will not spend one month without a job they are too competent for that kind of condition they literally are the brains behind many corporations many years ago i used to know a gentleman he was working three jobs and he was only working three or four times a week he used to live in kaduna state but he worked in lagos and the company would fly him every week he was an it consultant if he coughs i think they'll buy him a, a pharmacy not a drug listen you must be so valuable and you must be so competent there is a measure of honor that only comes to masters i made up my mind and you've heard me say it i don't have an ambition to learn and know everything and to be exceptional in everything but in the areas where god has called me i made a covenant with myself and my life that i will stretch myself to a point of uncanny mastery in ministry in leadership every grace that is available for signs and wonders i will contend for it by light thank god for that which is given me but i will not rest and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you listen you are a music you are a, you are a worshiper you are a music artist don't just sing and be looking for those who know you to keep recycling you around a day will come they will be tired of you because there will be too many alternatives you must trust god for illumination you must trust god for mastery learn at the feet of masters rise to a point where your songs don't die you are a businessman don't say I'm doing business. They are not patronizing me. Oh, I'm a chef. Who can place a demand for you? Until you serve kings, you cannot receive the reward of kings. If Koinonia only provides value to people who are outside of politics and governance and business, respectfully speaking and with every sense of responsibility then you will never be able to mentor kings and bless people the truths that are being dished out from here must be such that all and sundry can be benefactors of it truths that are consistent with scripture proven by the life of exceptional people exceptionally com communicated backed up by the power of the holy ghost like fire into your spirit you carry that truth and you can run with it competence
make up your mind to be competent in the name of Jesus you're a man of God make up your mind to be competent one headache per year you are not you'll be ready for empty pews not in the times that we live in you want to come and sing and you say don't worry don't worry about the wordings or is it is it the melody just focus on the wordings then recite a poem recite a poem are we together yes i know that we all start gradually but make up your mind can i tell you this don't come and stand in front of the stage when you are not prepared you can relax with honor don't embarrass yourself relax with honor and train and train and make that mistake the stage is not for training it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you. Apostle, I'm tired of this level. Then rise through competence. I'm tired of this level. Rise to serve kings. I'm tired of this level as a man of God. The key is not to ask people to come to listen to you. The mere fact, listen, a mango tree does not call you. It just produces fruits big and juicy a few months you pass the same tree as if you didn't see it now look at the skill you have to employ because of this the, the gift on it you use stones you use a rod you even climb it the tree never said you should be that desperate for it it only produced fruits i tell you why people are ignoring you there is nothing of there is nothing notable in your life you don't come to a tree that is not producing anything ask jesus your jesus jesus came to a tree that had green leaves and no fruit he didn't just advise it and say next year make sure that he cost it that's what men will do when you attract men to your presence and you have nothing to offer before you ask men come make sure the table is ready let all things be ready before you call men for a feast don't call for a miracle service when you've not contended for the grace for healing when they are not healed they will say i'm not healed don't call people to teach and then you are sharing things and sharing things and they go back and use the truth you're communicating and there's no results in their lives there is nobody who lives what works at the instance of results results are magnetic they can keep men there keep them in your company not by telling lies the greatest way to market is to tell the truth you have no fear when it is truth nothing to hide nothing to stage manage it is true if i tell you god will lift you believe me he will lift you if i tell you god is is shifting you it will happen because if he did not say it i don't have any business repeating you are only afraid if you speak on your own Please make up your mind that you're going to be competent believe us let us not bring reproach to the name of Jesus let us go back and do our homework in music in business in politics in leadership buy the truth and sell it not hallelujah every time I finish a meeting like this when I go back home sincerely speaking maybe just rest refresh a bit i'm getting straight to my work as i'm preaching here right now i have my own assignments and i have things i'm doing i return from a meeting straight to this place and when i'm done not even my tiredness is an excuse there is a generation that is depending on my competence there are people on wheelchairs right now who are depending on my contending for that power it is more than what you want don't prophesy nonsense everything you say is not correct don't say it's just God testing me go back and do your homework your name is John no I'm Israel you have two children no I have ten you are coming from Abuja I'm coming from outside this country Abba, that margin of error is too human you can't blame God for it I made up my mind that I will never stand before anybody in this life and be intimidated to a point of shame. I will be challenged. I will be provoked unto godliness. 
but never that I stand before anyone. I found out the difference between you and anyone is number one, your level of enlightenment. Number two, the relationships that come at that enlightened level. Number three, the grace that is at work on your life. That's what separates people. Anybody you ever admire, this is what separates him from you. Can kings stand to applaud you? Can the great look at you and say, I am impressed. He behaves like us. Or can they show you the door and say, go out there and never come back again? Joseph was prepared. He knew he was ready to stand before Pharaoh. I'm sure when Joseph was leaving the prison, he looked at those who were there and said, gentlemen, I'm coming for you, but no longer as a prisoner. I know that when I meet the king, it's impossible for the king to have this kind of competence before him and send me back to the prison. And here's how he did it. He said, let the king search for a man. It's a diplomatic way of saying, I dare you, search the entire Egypt. If you will find a man, you've been here sweating for hours and they brought me out of prison. Don't trivialize my value. Search for the entire Egypt. If you will find a man who will interpret your dream. Listen. At the instance of competence, without consulting with kingmakers and elders, he became the prime minister. So there are times that competence can compress time and in a moment enthrone you. Someone can look at you and without an interview, just a five minutes conversation, he says, come and be the Nigerian representative of my company. Come and be the African representative of my company. And you are like, it's a joke. Sorry, sir, are you joking? And he says, does it sound like I'm joking? You have what I'm looking for. Do you have what the world is looking for? Do you have what the world is looking for? There are consultants and specialists today that are being flown from US, being flown from UK, from India, to come and perform surgical procedures on certain people why because they are masters there are authorities global authorities in certain fields before you go so far you have they have to vet what you are writing is that true no matter where you are if you want to be initiated to this realm of greatness you must pass through their tutelage they look at what you're saying and say no adjust this adjust that May you be a master. The level of mastery that drives shame from your life. That you have a restaurant that will make people come and sit down there as though they were bound with a spell. What is it about your food? I found a secret. Africa, we love superstition. God is a miracle worker, but he's not a magician. It will take competence to attract honor. It will take competence to attract the goodwill of people. Nobody will clap for you indefinitely for doing nothing. Your assignment, go back to the drawing board. Your assignment, create a drawing board if you do not have one. Don't clap for yourself for too long. You've heard me say it here, that no one claps for you for the same thing twice. When they clap for you once, that's enough for that realm. If you don't do anything higher, nobody will applaud you for it again. Are we blessed? I made up my mind to bring glory to Jesus through my life. Not just through my prayers, not just through my fasting, but through competence. That anywhere he would have me serve his purposes, any church I have the opportunity to minister in or here in Koinonia that by the grace of God I will never waste your two, three, four hours it will never be that you come for any Koinonia meeting and at the end of it you are frowning and say I just wasted my time I would have done something else it will be evil of me to come and waste your precious time many of you are veterans in business you are captains over many why will you come and sit down here for hours and then learn nothing and just jump around and laugh and share the grace that's not the God we serve. By the grace of God, you will never sit here and go back with regret. No. That whilst you sit down here, 
quality life applicable information will come to you that is applicable both in your spiritual life and your secular environment and then the engracing from the spirit this is what makes it more than a lecture a lecture stops in the realm of your mind but there is an anointing an unction that backs every truth maybe i should say this as we prepare to round up many years ago the lord showed me a very very interesting revelation i was caught up in the realm of the spirit listen carefully and then i saw a very big door very giant gate and then in it it was made up of smaller doors and on every door a scripture was written i noticed it was that smaller doors were opening and closing opening and closing and every time they open light would just come from them and i wondered what i was seeing and i was saying lord what is this and then the lord told me every time you catch a revelation in scripture the grace dimension to defend that truth is that light that is released so any truth you cannot validate with your life is not yet a revelation to you no matter how long you have talked about it there is always grace given to the saints to defend the truths that we communicate and the lord walking with them confirming the word the word with signs following the law of absolute surrender the law of mental transformation the law of competence and mastery can you lend me 10 more minutes let's talk about the fourth law and then we pray very quickly the law of faith the fourth spiritual law that is responsible for the excelling of the saints in this kingdom is the law of faith. Mark 11, please, from verse 22 to 24. Just summarize it quickly and then we'll pray. My spirit is fired up. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Original translation says, Have the faith in of God he says verily verily I say unto you whosoever shall say to this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith 24 therefore koinonia I say unto you what things soever ye desire hallelujah when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them hebrews 11 says now faith is the substance of things that i hope for he calls it the evidence of things not seen the evidence of things not seen the evidence of things not seen please permit me to just use money for an example watch this the evidence of things not seen this is a hundred dollar bill please come watch this he wants to buy say maybe he wants to buy this are we together now and it is a hundred dollars if I give him this I didn't give him the book but I gave him the substance of what he's hoping for this is the evidence that he can go to the shop and purchase it are we together now this is what he wants to buy it is not the money he wants but the moment I gave him hundred dollar he started smiling it's as good as having it because he can go to the person go to them that sell and buy that's what the parable of the virgins once you have the ability to buy them that sell will not hinder you So this is it and he comes to the person who sells and drops this and picks this so this was not supposed to remain just as money are we together now eventually I should see you holding this if you hold this forever something is wrong you it is either fake money or you don't know where to meet them that sell the moment you hold this you shouldn't just start jumping yes rejoice that you have it but don't stop there go to them that sell and exchange it for the real substance so the bible says faith is the substance of what you hope for 
the evidence that although it is not here i have the purchasing power to get it listen the house is not yet there but i have the substance this is the evidence that it is going to be mine the lifting has not yet appeared but this is the evidence now in this kingdom the currency is the word of God this is it instead of giving you this mundane piece of paper that when you tear it you cannot go to CBN and say I was holding real money it's gone this is it this is the instrument we use to purchase possibilities in this kingdom every time you find truth it's like money being given to you there is an exchange system in the realm of the spirit you carry that truth this mysteries i'm teaching you now is like dashing you money because you are soon going to carry this truth you are learning there are them that sell don't worry you will go to work tomorrow you will go around and you will start seeing them that sell all around your destiny helpers are them that sell the moment you meet them you will exchange these mysteries for lifting for favor everything in this kingdom is bought but you must know the currencies that we used to buy with in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was with god in the beginning john 1 says it says and without him it says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made listen to me very quickly i asked for 10 minutes faith is based on two qualities of god there are two major qualities of god that produce bible faith number one his integrity numbers 23 and verse 19 very quickly please numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 believers read with me ready one to read god is not a man uh-huh neither the son of man that he should repent had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good please look up the bible says god is not a man there is a weakness in all men we lie You don't lie because you are bad you lie because you are human so he says god is not a man that he should lie he became a man but he is not a man if god is a man he must worship who created him he is not a man he became a man are we together the bible says when god says a thing you can trust him he will make it good everybody say integrity the word integrity comes from the word integer sameness as within so without sameness when you say god is a god of integrity that means there is consistency dependability when he says i will lift you he will not turn tomorrow and say no i will change my mind provided the conditions that make for the delivery of that promise is met and kept he is true to his word so the first quality of God that Bible faith depends on is his integrity. You want to deal with someone you know will not play games with you. God does not do April Fool. No. When he tells you, I will lift you, he really means it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. It shall come to pass, the Bible declares, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all his commandments which I command you this day. It says that the Lord will set thee on high above the nations of the earth. And then it says that all these blessings shall come on thee and shall overtake you. There is a condition. I'm the God of integrity. I am able to do that. God is dependable. He's a God of integrity. The first quality of God that Bible faith depends on 
is his integrity you must have a revelation of god's integrity when he sends you and tells you i will be there with you trust him trust him even when you do not see him trust him are we together integrity he does not change when god speaks to me i believe him when he sent me to this city he assured me of his divine presence and i believed him i came because i believed him nobody signed any form and said i'm coming no faith he said it i believe where will the money come from for the bills it will come through the voice that spoke where will the people to listen come from the word will bring them i know that god is a god of integrity you can trust him you can trust him i know that men have failed you they promised to do a they did b they promised to do x they did y but god is not like that when he says a thing he has the power to do it imagine the things he told you this year that this is your year of victory you must believe it is true imagine the thing he told you this year that when men say there is a casting down for you it will be that there is a lifting up you have to believe him he told you this year would not end with you crying like other years why are you now doubting his integrity god is not scratching his head wondering how to defend his name in your life he's the almighty god he's able to do it number two the second quality of god that our faith depends on is his ability there are people that have integrity but they do not have ability i can help you but sincerely i don't have the money he has integrity and the person he's standing with will say it's true he's like that honestly if he has money he will give you so his integrity is not in doubt but there is no ability ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who has ability he does not just have integrity listen carefully he has ability to do there are people who want to give you jobs they have integrity but they do not have ability there are people who want to lift you they will tell you just pray for me if i really become the director i will not let you suffer they have integrity but when it has to do with performance you need more than integrity you need ability god is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think and he does that according to the power that works in us everybody say god is able one more time prophesy say god is able don't be in doubt whether he can lift you apostle god said he will honor me where will the resources come from ask the raven where it got bread and came and fed elijah in the night this is god he can make anything out of anything so he has integrity and he has ability based on the awareness of his integrity and his ability you can now believe him what does it mean to believe him to count him as true then what do you do the next thing you do listen carefully listen carefully this is where many people miss it out believing is not faith believing is only part of the faith equation if all you do is believe you are not walking in faith Just because you have rice does not mean you have fried rice rice is a major ingredient but not the only ingredient just because you have salt does not mean you have a well prepared meal believing is only one of the equations to faith listen to me the foundation of Bible faith hinging on God's integrity and his ability is the awareness of the promises and the instructions that your blessings are connected to the awareness of the promises 
the awareness of the instructions that your promises or your blessings are connected to here's how it works every commitment of god in the scripture there is a condition every blessing in scripture there is a condition a participatory condition that must be met your condition is not necessarily adding to what christ has done but it's a participatory condition if 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 you want to prosper find out the biblical conditions that make for prosperity subscribe to it with all your heart having this at the back of your mind that at the back end of your obedience is a god of integrity and the god of ability you only have the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is complete now there's a lot of blind believing god in the body of christ i'm believing god for this i'm believing god for this you will keep jumping like that forever respectfully speaking no there are conditions the bible is full of prophecies the bible is full of principles the bible is full of promises when you walk through your garden of eden that's this bible you search for the things god said he would do and search for the conditions connected to them you want to prosper there are conditions attached you are only manifesting faith when number one you believe that god has integrity and ability then you find out the economic system of the kingdom the principles that make for the blessing of the saints then you obtain grace from god to walk in keeping with those conditions only when you act out in obedience is god committed to you are we together it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. I read that scripture already. The Bible says, There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The Bible says, A diligent hand shall be made fat. We just read it here that a valuable person will attract the attention of kings, the gift of a man. So don't sit down and say, God, prosper me. He's saying you walk in keeping with the principles that release that dimension of the blessing. When you walk in keeping with the principles connected to any blessing, there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to stop you from entering that inheritance. This is called the law of faith. Are we together? We are going to pray. John 11 and 40. John 11 and 40. We have to close quickly and pray. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto you, that if thou shalt believe, you will see the glory of God. This is what confuses a lot of people. Just because Jesus said believe, you have to examine the word that was translated believe there. He did not just mean if you are aware that I'm able to do it. No, no. If you are convicted and then you act in keeping with the truths and the instructions that I give you, there is an assurance that you will see the glory of the Lord. Let me wrap up tonight then by defining faith. This is my definition of faith. That faith is the name given to the action that you take. Faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word. Faith is the name given to the action, not the conviction. The action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person faith is the action you take as an obedient response to divine instructions and divine principles write that down faith is the action that you take based you take to what did I say now it was from my mind in response the action you take in response to divine instructions and divine principles is called faith. One more time, the action you take in response to divine principles and divine instructions 
if it be thou bid me come and he said come the action is called faith i will lift you i believe what are the conditions be diligent when you are diligent that diligence is called faith are we blessed i've shared with you tonight four kingdom mysteries please do not forget them I want you to listen to this teaching again and again. You'll find it free on YouTube. Go to our page, Koinonia Global. Our YouTube page, you can listen again and again. Go through all our social media pages. It's been broken down for you to listen again and learn. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and the hearing that produces understanding. Open up your heart. By the grace of God, next week we are going to finish up the remaining mysteries and you will hold them like keys and you can tell the gate of destiny i am ready open up open up open up i will last because i've surrendered everything i will not become mediocre because my belief systems are superior i will not be left out in life because i am competent and i am valuable and then i will not be a victim I'm not just a sociological being, a homo sapien. I relate with the divine through the law of faith. These are irrefutable keys to an excelling lifestyle. Please rise up on your feet. We're wrapping up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days Status is changing There's no more decline I'm on my way to better days Prophesy Status is changing There's no more decline I'm on my way to better days I'm on my way, on my way, I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way, on my way, on my way to better days. You're on your way, on your way. You're on your way to better days. Now that ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. Please turn it into a prayer. Lord, the grace to apply my life to these mysteries I obtain from heaven. Please lift your voice and pray. The grace. The grace. Grace, we're wrapping up. Lift your voice and obtain grace from heaven. The grace to lay down, the grace to sustain a superior belief system, the grace for mastery and competence, the grace to be valuable. The grace to live by faith, he says the just shall live by faith. I'll never be the same, never be the same. In the name of Jesus, revealing Jesus, bringing glory to his name, exploits by the Spirit, exploits through knowledge, exploits through understanding. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Listen, the Bible says the word is the seed, the parable of the sower. As soon as the word was sown, the Bible says Satan cometh immediately. Those that fall on good ground, he said, are those who understand, not just those who hear. I assure you, one day you will lock yourself at home 
and you will stand before your mirror with tears coming down your face and say thank you this is a system of insurance this is a bailout system the cure to mediocrity the cure to a life of competition and jealousy you found your way i'd like you to obtain grace one more time and say lord grace to do grace to do i will do this i will do this i will practice it by the spirit i will practice it by the spirit it will cause my life to excel i will practice it by the spirit hallelujah praise the lord please lend me two minutes and as a body of believers here and following online i like us to lift up nigeria in a prayer in one minute we are responsible believers and the church has a role to play in the stability of any nation we are responsible leaders we can lend our voice to the heavens we must cry to God and say, Lord, help us. We humble ourselves and we ask for help. We have stretched our intellect. We've stretched what we know to do. We need divine strategies. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for the government. Pray for members of parliament. Declare peace upon our nation. Lend your voice in prayer. Lend your voice to prophesy. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It says they shall prosper that love you. Lord, grant peace. Peace to our children. Peace in Abuja. Peace in the north. Peace in the south. Peace in the east. Peace in the west. In the name of Jesus, let the voice of violence be far from our habitation. We pray for wisdom direct our leaders in the name of Jesus grant us selflessness to lead this nation with wisdom grant the grace to look beyond our personal benefits and lead a nation where peace and justice will reign in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here and you are saying apostle I want to hand over my entire life to Jesus I came to church because I was invited I came because there is a hunger and a longing in my heart for Jesus whether you are here in the main auditorium or all of the overflows down to the basement outside anywhere I know our time is gone but we cannot compromise on the mandate for the global harvest just two minutes for you wherever you are i'd like you to boldly leave your seat and come stand here it's my joy and my honor to leave to lead you to jesus you are saying apostle i gave my life to jesus christ but for some reason things have gone haywire in my life don't be ashamed don't wait for someone to come be the first to come take that bold step let's celebrate them as they come Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? All those in the overflows, just walk to your screen. Just walk to your screen. You may not have the time to come to the main auditorium. All those in the overflows, down to the basement, outside, following online. I'd like you to connect as I lead God's people in prayer. If you're still joining them, come quickly. Be bold. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for making this very bold decision. I'd like you to lift your right hand. All of you here, lift it to Jesus. All in the overflow, do same. Lift your hands to Jesus. Those following online in your room, your office, your car, just watching from your device, you can lift your hands right there. Jesus is there. I want you to pray this prayer loud say after me lord jesus 
you're joining them join them very quickly say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god tonight i have heard your word i surrender everything to you i receive forgiveness of sin i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare from tonight until forever i belong to jesus i am a child of god in jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you thank you for this once the bible declares that whosoever will come to you you will in no wise cast away they have come with hearts open they have come with hearts repentant i thank you in the name of jesus christ for that which you have done i commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit that they be established that they be grounded in righteousness i pray that they will go forward ever and backward never and according to the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i declare that god gives you a new beginning in jesus name i pray congratulations um i want all of you to follow there's a gentleman waving a placard just waving to you please all of you follow them same with the overflows just follow them they'll have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat koinonia celebrate them <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord amen so let me advise very quickly please after service as much as possible do well to just exchange pleasantries as fast as you can and then do well to reach for your homes um, we close early today because we have to walk with uh, the injunction the curfew as you know that we have curfew by 12 midnight and we do not want to keep both our precious members and the workers here late more than necessary and so I hope that you bear with us when and if the protocol department if they seem to cut away some of the people who may want to wait behind to see me i apologize i know that so many people may want to see me but please we may make it another time praise the name of the lord aside from a few of our guests and a few special cases as much as possible just go home rejoicing with what you have heard and the lord will bless you in the name of jesus christ are we good on that let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. God bless you. And... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.